Cobra Kai fans, what a day it has been. Just when we thought that Netflix was about to screw us over for a third time, they certainly shocked us all by revealing the very first look into Cobra Kai Season 6. And in that first look, we got a brand new behind-the-scenes image of nearly all our favorite cast members fully decked out in their character's attire, ready to shoot a scene. So let's dive into this image and see what we can take away from it. So right off the bat, we all know where this is taking place. It's at the Miyagi-Do Dojo. We've been there million and a half times times there before, so you can't really confuse this location with anywhere else. And the first question that I asked myself when I saw this image for the very first time was, what exactly are they all looking at? And it took me a few minutes, and the answer to that question isn't really as complex as you'd think it is. So there's really two types of photographs that are taken when on set for Cobra Kai and just other shows in general. They can sometimes do a behind-the-scenes photo and or a production still image. Now this right here is a behind-the-scenes photo. A behind-the-scenes photo is a shot from the production that isn't actually used in a particular scene that's going to show up in the actual show. Because as you can see in the corners of the shot, you can see some of the cameras and just imperfections in the shot. A production still image is a photo taken directly from a scene that they're going to be shooting. And in this all new shot here, I personally don't think they're actually rolling when they were taking this photo. I think it's just the entire cast getting together and the big three of John, Josh, and Hayden or whoever's directing the episode is just kind of giving them marching orders of where to go, what to do, what to look like. So I don't think they're looking at anything in specific that would carry any weight for the season. I think it's just one of the directors or a member of the big three explaining the nature of the scene or just telling them what to do. The next thing that myself and a lot of other fans noticed very quickly is the absence of some key characters like Hawk, Dimitri, Kenny, and Devin. I saw a lot of people on Twitter, Instagram, even YouTube absolutely flipping out, worrying about, oh, where's Hawk? Is he not even going to be with them anymore? Guys, this is just one shot. I'm sure they're there. They're just not in the actual frame. If you remember, there was a production still image back for season five that had the Miyagi-Do students bowing to Chosen. And Miguel wasn't in that shot and it had everybody wondering and worrying where the heck's Miguel? Why isn't he there with them when in fact he was with them in the actual season? So I wouldn't worry. Hawk, Dimitri are definitely going to be there. Kenny and Devin are still question marks at this point. We don't know if they're going to be joining Miyagi-Do this early on as I'm guessing this is going to be taking place during episode one, but I definitely think at some point, Kenny and Devin will in fact join the fight with Miyagi-Do. A few more rapid fire intricate details that can be noticed from this image is that Chosen Taguchi is up and at him. We remember from season five that his back was completely sliced open by a samurai sword from Terry Silver, and he looks to be back up on his feet. He may still be in a quite a lot of pain, I'm sure he is, but the fact that he's on his feet is definitely a big and a good sign. John Hurwitz even confirmed this a while back that season six is going to pick up roughly just a few weeks after season five ended, which leads me into my next point of Tori Nichols has officially joined Miyagi-Do and she still has that bandage around her left arm from when she was made to punch the stone dummy by Sensei Kim and Sensei Silver. But the fact that Tori Nichols is seemingly joining Miyagi-Do this early on in the season is definitely a great sign and uh, it just really brings a smile to my face. It's another one of those full circle moments. One of the other things I've noticed is how dang tall Griffin Santa Pietro, who plays Anthony LaRusso as gotten. I don't know if it's just the inconsistencies with the grass or the ground, but he seemingly looks way taller than in previous seasons, and he almost looks like he's taller than a lot of the main kids, and even some of the senseis. But honestly, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with Anthony this season. You guys know how I feel about the character in prior seasons, so I'm definitely looking forward to see if they can do anything in season six to make me actually like Anthony for a change. So time will tell, we will see. Now, this one last thing that I want to take from this image is a very subtle one. It's not confirmed, but I definitely think this person that I'm noticing behind uh, the one and only William Zabka, who plays Johnny Lawrence, I do think that is yes. That's penis breath behind Johnny. We all know that penis breath literally betrayed all of his friends by being a mole for Cobra Kai in the season five finale. So I'm actually rather surprised that, especially again, this early on, that penis breath is actually being welcomed back into the fold so quickly by everybody, given all the crap that he did. So if this turns out to be penis breath, that's gonna be a pretty wild surprise. If not, then it is what it is. Who knows what they're gonna do with him. So now that's it for the image that was revealed by 
Netflix. Now, there was also another behind the scenes image revealed by the one and only Sholo Maradueña who plays Miguel Diaz. He posted on his Instagram page and I was completely taken aback by surprise as it showed Jacob Bertrand who plays Hawk rocking some sunglasses and incorporating the Spike style mohawk that he primarily used in past seasons when his hair was red. Now he's incorporating it now that he has the blue hairstyle. And this is definitely another full circle balance moment, this time from the character of Hawk. He's channeling both sides, his darker side, and his lighter side. That blue mohawk is what started it all for him in this karate war. So it's really cool that he's actually embracing his lighter side and his darker side for this final season. Now the real important stuff to get down to in this image is the geese that William Zabka, who plays Johnny Lawrence, and Ralph Macchio, who plays Daniel LaRusso, are wearing. We've seen Daniel LaRusso in a classic white gi many times before in the Miyagi-verse. So this isn't anything new when it comes to his character. Now William Zabka, that's a whole different story. We've seen Johnny in a white gi in the Karate Kid before, but that was under Cobra Kai. And we've seen him in black and red when he was with Eagle Fang and Cobra Kai when he was competing. Now he's in an all new white gi and seemingly a Miyagi Do gi. Unless these are the actual gis that they're using for their combined dojos. So that's the only thing. This is either a Miyagi Do gi that Johnny's wearing or it's the brand new gis from their new combined dojo, whatever that name may be. Either way, it's so refreshing to see a brand new look for Johnny Lawrence and being my favorite character, you want nothing more for a character's development. And either way, whatever dojo name they're going in under, this is definitely a look for Johnny that's a welcome one. And after diving into all that good stuff, the final surprise is that we got the 100% confirmation that Cobra Kai Season 6 will in fact be releasing in the year 2024. We don't exactly know when exactly, like the month or the date specifically, but we do know the year and that's enough just for now. I've stated this in many videos in the past that a December 2024 release date is definitely the most likely. So definitely keep your eyes on that as it'll likely get released in only a matter of months. But guys, that's gonna do it for this big update video on the brand new images we got for Cobra Kai season six. What's your favorite part of these images that got revealed? Also, let me know how long is this gonna tide you over before you want more. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you got something out of today. And if you didn't, change it to a dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you're a massive fan of the Cobra Kai series and the Karate Kid films and join me tomorrow night to discuss these images with all of you guys and rank every single fight we've seen in the Cobra Kai series. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.